On July 2nd, 2011, the NASCAR Racing Experience held the inaugural Firecracker 150 at Thunder Hill Raceway in Kyle, Texas. The 150 lap endurance karting event would draw drivers from around Central Texas. 12 teams would compete with five drivers per team. We have all teams present in California. Race director Chris Baker outlined the race and told drivers what to expect. Straight up, your big boys have taken all the cones off of turn three, four. So if you're up there and you're up in the marbles, you ran out of talent about the middle of the corner. So be kind of conscientious as to what's going on with that wall. We don't want to see any statistics up there. They don't let the young guys run the LMS series. Have you noticed that? Because those dudes are way aggressive. In an endurance race, those aren't the guys that win. The guys that use their brain to take care of their equipment are the ones that win. If you dive bomb down underneath someone, and you drop a spindle, and you catch a motor mount, and you shatter that motor, and that motor flies off, guess what? You're done. All right? If you're slapping pedals, and you're getting happy with gas and brake and gas and brake, or whatever you're doing out there, you break something, you're done. Among the competitors was Team Mario Kart captain Mike Steinman and Team Shake and Bake captain Jason Marshall. In the weeks leading up to the race, the two had formed an alliance of speed, determining to work together between the teams. Each driver committed to work with their on-track counterpart and run nose to tail throughout the race and maintain the all-important draft. You guys are gonna get five second warning and we're gonna hit the horn when we're ready to hit the horn. Once we hit the horn, you better run up the hill and not trip, not fall. You gotta get in on the, the, the left side of the car. For the first leg of the race, Team Mario Kart selected 18-year-old Reagan Garner, and Team Shake and Bake would be represented by K.W. Stanko. The two drivers were familiar with each other and had raced together in a recent karting league, but for the multi-team plan to work, the Le Mans-style start would be critical. Here we go. Stanko's start was ideal for Team Shake and Bake, launching to an early lead, but leaving Team Mario Kart two spots back. The plan came together quickly though, as Garner found Stanko on lap three, and from that moment, the 12 cart and the five cart stuck together like glue. With the carts shadowing each other, Team Mario Kart and Team Shake and Bake pulled away from the competition. They were all lined up and now they're battling for position again behind you. Just an eight smooth. Y'all got eight carts on. In just 16 laps, the leaders had reached the back of the field and began to slice through traffic. You want to go high, go high. And then turn down under them coming off of two. There you go, go high. Like a quarterback, K.W. Stanko pointed the way, and Reagan Garner pushed him there. Very nice job, guys. Very nice job. Stick together. Keep going. You have a 25 card lead on third place. It's a three card draft back there, but they can't make
other teams began to make early driver changes, Garner and Stanko stayed on the track and pushed the lead they had established. After building the lead for 52 laps, Team Shakenbake called Stanko in and replaced him with driver PJ Cohen. Two laps later, Reagan Garner was called in to turn Team Mario Kart ride over to Pat Love. But for the teams to reconnect on the track, they had to be quick and decisive. As other teams began to make mistakes, the 5 and the 12 stayed in each other's shadow. PJ Cohen and Pat Love maintained control on the track while the next drivers got in line. For the second time, the five car was called into the pits, this time to replace Cohen with Nick Zuka. Team Mario Kart would follow, exchanging driver Pat Love with Doug Garner.
finding each other on the track proved difficult in traffic, but the cart soon fell back in line, and Garner and Zuka continued to move through traffic as the lead grew. Team Shaken Bay called in Nick Zuka. It was clear that Garner would follow quickly. Jeff Warden relieved Garner and soon joined Team Shaken Bake driver Mark Cohen on the track. Captains consulted off the track. The lead grew on the track. 
Both drivers stuck to the plan, remaining together and working through traffic. But on lap 121, disaster almost struck for Team Mario Kart. Say hi! Oh! Good job! Clear! As they attempted to pass their competitor, the 14 card moved up the track and into Jeff Warden. But somehow he managed to gather the 12 card up and pressed on. Team Shake and Bake called in the 5 card for the last time, replacing Mark Cohen with Team Captain Jason Marshall. Like clockwork, the 12 card followed and Warden was replaced by Team Mario Kart Captain Mike Steinman. Good job, good job, good job. It didn't take long for the pro car captains to link up on the track and continue to pass carts. A late race caution came out when the 14 card spun in turn four and the field stacked up. You all fly, guys. You all fly. Keep your position. Keep your position. But when the green came back out, Steinman and Marshall pressed the competition, refusing to give up any ground. Rooting up opposing carts, Steinman and Marshall continued forward progress even late into the race. Laps dwindled, but Team Mario Kart and Team Shake and Bake maintained the plan that got them there until the last lap, when Marshall snuck to the inside of Steinman and gave Team Shake and Bake the win. But the victory belonged to 10 drivers as Team Mario Kart and Team Shake and Bake never deviated from the plan.
were really low to get in there. I gave you room. I yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. I know. I tried way too hard. I almost pushed it. There. Yeah. Awesome job, dude. Dude, that from the start. I knew he was going to too. I, 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 I pinched him low, but I gave it. It would have been the same thing if he was, if he was pushing me. We knew the two cars, you guys were the five and the 12? Yep. 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 Freaking cheated, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We knew that all the rest of y'all would be fighting for the position. Congratulations. We knew what to do, when to do it. You know, that was just a smart, executed oh, come on, plan. Man. Just drink the milk. <laughs> I am, but I'm just letting you know, you know, sometimes agent treachery beats you in exuberance. <laughs> The whole team did a great job. Brayton did an awesome in that first job. I know I've always wanted to do this. Yeah, we won, guys. <laughs> All day. Dude. All day. Dude, I almost spun me back there. Yeah, I know. I, 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 sideways. That scared all of us. My <laughs> <laughs> was like this. Good job, man. Good job, man. You sucked right up on you the whole time. I know. It was fun. Was yeah, you're smooth, man. You're really nice and smooth. Thanks. See what we did? No, we teamed up. We teamed up with the other team, and we just went out there and we drafted with them oh, the whole time. We were on radios. That's what you guys did. Yeah, we teamed up with, with Jason's team. What do you think about that? <laughs> That's what we were counting. Well, you're still filming. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we race race at the end. It. It's done, yo. At the end, let them race. For White flag, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Split the money if we finish only if we finish one team. Only because one team. smart guys after this one. Well, ten cards, but we were one team, ten drivers, and if not one of us won it, all of us did it together. So, um, very smooth, excellent, pit, excellent pitch strategy. Um, one guy pitted, the next came out, so our next team was coming in, and they hooked right back up. Didn't miss a beat. No mistakes. I'll tell you what, that's right. No mistakes on that team. And I, these guys were padded so together. I saw one point. You were on the radio. You weren't, you weren't on the car. I guess you guys were about to do a driver change. I heard you on the radio saying, just put your hand up. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you're trying to talk to your, your team out there and let them know the board's up. We were their eyes, you know, all they had to do was focus, put their heads down, race. Yeah, that, was, that was what it's about. Let them do the driving and just talk to them and tell them where to go. And they did an excellent job right there. That's Mike Steinman. Team Mario Kart right there. Awesome job. Throughout the race, the two teams acted as one proving it's not always the fastest carts and drivers that win the race. Sometimes it's the smart and consistent.